John Shaw, The Outlaw with an Odd Ending. The Canyon Diablo became the setting for Shaw's legendary story, or maybe his bad luck that cost him too much. However, what really happened to the infamous outlaw who drank his last whiskey even after his death? You will find out more about it at the end of this video, but first, here's where it all started. During that time, John Shaw worked as a cowboy in a local ranch. However, he soon realized that he couldn't continue with this meager salary. So, Shaw decided to shift careers, and without regard to what the future holds, he partnered with William Evans and started his life as an outlaw. Before midnight of April 7, the duo entered a saloon in Arizona. They headed straight to the bar and ordered a shot of whiskey. Surprisingly, they were both dressed in the finest clothes, so people did not expect anything suspicious. But when a stack of silver coins attracted their eyes, the atmosphere changed. Their hands were itching to get the money, so they pulled their guns out and declared hold up. After bagging $600 worth of silver coins, the duo immediately left, leaving their drinks untouched. However, they were unaware that the saloon owner was a deputy himself who hastily informed the sheriff of what happened. As the outlaws walked away, some coins actually fell from their pockets. This allowed the lawmen to follow them, and then shortly after that, they received a word about two suspicious men hiding near the train station. Before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. Wasting no time at all, they rushed after the outlaws. When they arrived, they immediately spotted the duo at a corner of a trading post. So without ado, the lawmen headed straight to the outlaws. However, Shaw even walked towards them as a fearless response. Then the lawmen yelled at him, asking for a body search. However, Shaw aggressively shouted back saying, No one search us! Then, when the six-foot distance became four, a shootout erupted at point-blank range. Shaw's accuracy was awful since he emptied his six-shooter's barrel without even hitting anyone. And to make things worse, Evans was wounded and fell to the ground. So after seeing his partner stumble, Shaw unfortunately lost focus on reloading his gun, which opened an opportunity for Sheriff Huck to fire his last bullet that hit Shaw in the head, causing immediate death. After 20 shots were fired, the Canyon Diablo shootout ended. And shortly after, the lawmen buried the poor outlaw in a shallow grave. As the news of Shaw's death became widespread, many have also heard about Shaw's untouched whiskey, and it seemed some of them had the same thing in their minds. So 20 men rode the train to Canyon Diablo. Eventually, they arrived, and when they had the shovels and a Kodak camera, they started their very unusual plan. You would be shocked that they really dug up Shaw's body, However, when they held him up, what awaited them was Shaw, who appeared to be smiling. So who would not feel uncomfortable with that? Soon, some of them even began crying and started offering prayers. And yes, oddly enough, they poured him his last gulp of whiskey and bid farewell as they returned him to his grave. You just have discovered the amazing story of John Shaw, with a strange ending. So click this and discover another strange story about the Mad Monk Rasputin.